Hey everybody, it's Miranda here from the Swirly Do's Education Design Team, and I'm going to be creating a layout today based on the sketch at Swirly Do's for the month. And I'm going to be focusing on using primarily primarily the um, Hope Chest Papers from Pink Paisley. They came in our kit this month. They are super, super pretty. And I'm big on the greens for a moment, so I really like these big green roses on here. So this is the one I'm going to use for my background. If you haven't seen the sketch this month, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and start masking, and this is just a Crafters Workshop mask. I think it's called the Ledger Mask. So I'm just going to go on here. It's a 12 by 12 one, so it fits perfectly and just use some of the stucco patch that you can get at Home Depot and I'm going to use that to pretty much cover the whole thing. Okay, this isn't completely dried yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start doing some misting on here. This paper already looks like it's been like soaked in inks in certain parts, so I just kind of want to play off of that. So I'm grabbing some colors that are similar to what's in here. This is Olive Branch Spritz, and I'm just going to randomly spray. This is Abominable Blue, which I'm almost out of, so I may not get much out of here. It's like the very last of it. Okay, in the sketch, there's a sheet of paper that's coming out from one side. So I'll just cut another piece of the Hope Chest paper. I'm going to ink the edges of it with frayed burlap to make it stand out a little more. Okay, in the kit we also got this sheet of circles from Pink Paisley, and I want to use those because the sketch has circles on it, but I'm not crazy about the color. I like it, but not too much, so I'm going to use a little bit of gesso just to kind of go over this a tidbit. Yeah, I like that better. Some of it brown, some of it white.
Okay, I'm going to start adhering some things down. I've done a little bit of background work, as you can see, and I'm going to do more after I get my elements down, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of play with where these are going to go before I add any more. So let me grab my glue really quickly. I'm going to be using Fabri-Tac and hot glue, too, on a lot of it. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere my little circles down. Okay, I'm ready to add my photo now, and I've actually used the packaging. I always print my pictures out on transparency. And this is a picture of us kids as we were younger. This is me over here looking up at my dad. It's coming out a little blurry, but I printed it out on a transparency, and I used the packaging for the little ephemera pieces, and I actually took the hope chest part off of the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the placement of my photo, and I'm going to add a couple of these pieces on here too like that. I like the way this shows. So I'm going to add that onto there. I'm just going to hot glue that a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add this other little piece down here too. photo had or the sketch had three photos in it since I'm not using the photos I figured just kind of placing it like this would help give the illusion um, of three photos or at least adhere to the sketch a little bit okay so I'm going to place that here okay I want to add a little bit of cheesecloth now so I'm just going to randomly put little glue dots just to adhere it down so it'll be kind of poking out from behind my flowers and stuff that I'm going to place. Okay, I had planned on only using the flowers from the kit, but at the last minute I decided to pull out a Prima spray from my stash. It's the only thing that's not going to be from the kit on here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the actual flowers that come on this vine, and I'm going to replace it with the flowers from the kit. I just want the vine, basically the pretty tendrils and stuff, and then I'll add my own flowers to it. This is my favorite Prima spray. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to whitewash these really quickly with some of the gesso from the last kit, last technique kit. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to glue this down here. I also want this little rooster to show through. So I'm going to kind of play with where I'm going to put it. I'm going to glue it down just a little bit for now, but I might end up moving it because I definitely want it to show and I'm not sure exactly where my big flowers are going to fall at. Okay.
Okay, one of the last things I'm going to do is we got this felt sheet in our, in our kit and it was this color on the back and I cut the whole thing apart. It had like a bird cage and everything and I'm just going to use some of these elements. I gessoed them and then spritzed them with some treasured hem. So now I'm just going to play around with kind of having these go in and out of my flower spray because the sketch has a lot of um, floral elements kind of coming out of it. So just going to play around with placing this in there. Okay, my very last step is I'm going to add a little bit more color coming out from behind my elements. And I'm going to do that with a paintbrush and some of my shimmers. This one's almost empty, so it's a perfect chance to just get done in there and use the bottom of it. I'm just going to have a little bit of it coming out. Kind of painting it like it was sprayed that way. 